Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Michelle and this is my daughter Michaela. And today we are going to try um, soft drinks or sodas, fizzy drinks, whatever they may be called. But they're British. Yes, they are British. And we have had a lot of comments about this iron brew. So we want to give you what you've asked for. And I have never tried this. I do know a little bit of its history. I think it's an actually a Scottish drink. It's the most popular drink, or second most popular drink, in Scotland. So, I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. But that is what I've kind of taken from when I um, looked this drink up. So, I'm a little curious because it's orange. I wonder if it's going to taste like cough medicine. That's what I'm sitting here thinking. <laughs> is it going to be this super sweet taste... I don't know, but it's, it's really popular here, right? In the UK? I guess. I don't know. Okay, so that is the first one we're going to try. So let's open this up. We did bring two cups, so I'll let you be the cup holder. A solo cup. Oh, yes. oh, it was. Oh, oh, okay, okay. No, <laughs> we're not watching that on camera, guys. I'm <laughs> making a mess. And you oh, my God. It already smells like cough syrup. I can smell yep. it. Yeah. I knew the way it looked. Why is it trying to like, oh my goodness, so, make a mess. Stay in the bottle. Okay. Pour me a little bit. That's, Cheers. That's good. <gasps> it tastes like, it smells like bubble gum cough syrup. Ooh. Oh my God. Like the stuff you drink, like you had a cold and you drank it as a kid to get rid of your cold. Oh man. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. Cheers. Just, just by the smell of that. Here we go. Oh, oh, it, it tastes just like, I mean, it smells just like cough syrup. But it's not that bad. It's not as bad as it smells. Yeah. It's not necessarily good. Yeah. The aftertaste. Can it's you not just, taste the aftertaste? It's just super sweet. The smell. So, I, I mean, know. just the smell makes me think of <laughs> <was> cough syrup. <laughs> cough syrup. Yeah, about two, and I'd be good with that. I don't even know if ice would help that, or it being super cold. I've got to finish this, though, even though it did yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's like a little bit like bubble gum. I don't think it tastes like bubble gum, but I think it smells like bubble gum. It tastes a little bit to me. Maybe your mind's just tricked by the smell. <laughs> it's like bubble gum. No, not... Not horrible, like I, th like I was thinking, but... And that's the most popular drink in Scotland? Not the best. Oh. Alright guys, next we have Ben Shaw's Dandelion and Burdock. I'm, I mean, there's a dandelion even on here. I'm a little... Did they like go outside and pick some dandelions and like drain it? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Like why is that something you would want to drink? There's a flavor to that? Like, if I go outside and eat a dandelion, is What's, it going to taste like this? With? Isn't that... I think, there's, Burdock. I think there's grape in that. Uh, I think the back of it said or something that there was a tad bit of grape. British since 1871. So, is this like an older person's drink? Like, is grandma and grandpa sitting around drinking this all day long in Great Britain? I'm, I don't know. It's got energy, like, back here. This is not an energy drink, right? I don't know. I have never seen something that's got a dandelion. I'm excited to see what it tastes like. When I picked this up in the store, I was like, I gotta look at this again. No, I gotta look at it again. Like, wait, really? They're trying to <laughs> capture the dandelion taste? I don't know. It automatically just makes me think of... I mean, the bottle, the can's kind of cute. It is. It's a cute can. Mysterious combination. Hmm. That's scary. <laughs> We're fixing to see what the mystery is all about. Oh man, it already smells like. Oh, I'll let you tell me what it smells like. I have a. What do you think it smells Root like? Root beer. I was gonna say licorice. And it, I don't. It has a coconut smell to it. Coconut. Mhm. Mm I smell licorice. I do smell the root beer. And I don't like either one. And so. I don't like root beer or licorice. <laughs> I so don't this either. Should be, this should be fun. Okay. 
I'm a little less excited about this one than I was the first one. <laughs> oh, let me go first. Oh, wait. That, that's not as bad as the first one. Not as bad. No. That one's actually tolerable, like, to drink. Yeah. Where's the dandelion flavor, though? I don't think dandelions have flavor. <laughs> Would I know it if I tasted <laughs> it? <laughs> it's overpowered by it. Really, honestly, it kind of tastes like a diluted root beer. Yeah. I mean. Okay. And for me not to like root beer, that was not that bad. That actually was not that that bad. I mean, I promise you I'm never going to buy that again or sit it around in my fridge. But not as bad as I was expecting by what this can is giving off. Okay. Okay, Great Britain. That one. That one might be okay. So the next one is Bitter Shandy. And I hear this is like real beer and lemonade together. Ah, sorry. I had so, to look at that word again. Shandy. Yeah, that's what it says. Shandy. The word bitter is already in there. That's great. <laughs> Softer than it looks. Wait, that's a beer? Yeah. This is an actual beer beer? Yeah. With what? Lemonade. All right, guys, I'm a little confused. I bought this beside Coca-Cola and 7-Up and stuff. It was not like it was in a certain section of the store. Like, usually in America, you would have, and I know here in the UK, too, because I've been into the stores and the alcohol is separate. So, like, that's like real beer beer? I'm so confused. Yeah. I bought that so in the soda. Huh? So you can buy it at a pub. Huh? So buy it at a pub. Oh. Okay, again, since 1871. It's yeah. a classic. All right, girl. The packaging's cute. Yeah. Got a dog on it. These packages are really different. So these are the same company? This Ben Shaw's. Yeah, carbonated lemon, li carbonated lemon flavor soft drink with beer. Okay, she is old enough to drink, so. Oh, you can smell the beer. You can just smell the beer. You can smell the yeast. It smells just like beer. Yuck. Guys. Oh, God. This is already not fair because I don't like beer. I don't like beer either. Oh. I just gave myself probably a little bit way too much that I'm going to trying to get tipsy over here <laughs> on this video. <laughs> Cheers. You can smell the beer. You can smell <laughs> it. <laughs> and it's in a brown can. Like beer in a can. No. Oh, man, no. Mm. Not that bad. You can taste the lemon. Mm, it's not good. But I'm going to be honest. That's a better beer that I've tasted. Like. Don't like the lemon taste afterwards. Right I think now. that's what helps it. For me, I don't know. Mm. It's not that bad. It's actually not. Weird. Guys, I say this because um, in America, we, and I'm sure here too, but I've never done it here. I actually went to a restaurant and it was a higher end restaurant and I asked for a sampler of beers because I just don't, I've never really liked beer. And so I was like, can you just bring me a sampler? And they're like, sure, we can just arrange either 20, 30, whatever you're willing to pay for amount of little shots of beer. And we'll tell you what they are. You taste them and see if you like it. Okay, sure. So I think I ended up with about 30 of them. I didn't like any of them out of 30 different beers. I told them to bring me the high end, the low end, the middle end. There's that many beers? There's a lot of different beers. And I was like, just bring them to me. And it was just nasty. But this, if this is true, uh, y'all, please comment. Um, is this real beer? I mean. It smells like real, real beer. Does it? I thought it did when you poured it. Yeah, it does smell like beer. The can, yeah. Yeah, it smells like beer. But that's really not bad. I wonder if it's because the lemonade in it. The lemon, yeah. Huh. Okay, I'm going to finish this. <laughs> All right, guys. So next on our list is Old Jamaica Ginger Beer. I feel like this shop I was in or something just had a bunch of random items. Because, I don't know. These drinks seem so odd to me. Like, So now I'm confused. Ginger Beer, regular. Is this really another beer? I would say beer? be a little more like ginger ale. Like, I may be, because like, we have a thing called ginger ale in America. Carbonated ginger beer flavor. Soft drink. 
with sugar and sweetener. Okay, so this is not a beer. I was it's saying, ginger it's, beer flavor. So I'm probably saying it's probably more like a ginger ale. Okay. Okay, so let's try this ginger beer out. But it's a soft drink. Names are so misleading here, guys. Okay. Oh, it's smoking. What? <laughs> Can y'all see this? This drink. It smell is that eucalyptus? It smells like eucalyptus. Oh my gosh. Something is that's, rolled. No, that's just the strongness of the ginger. Oh. It does, it's just how, gin, how um, strong the ginger is. And it rolls out like that? Like there was well, smoke. Well, the smell is. I'm oh. not sure why the smoke's coming out. <laughs> a little scared I mean, now. She looks like she should have shook, shaked it. Because that looks like a different color at the bottom than that at the top. Am I supposed to shake this? I'm scared to shake it. Let's see. If we shake it. Maybe. I don't know. But then can I open it? Or maybe it's just the way I the think packaging. it's just the bottle. Yeah, it's just the packaging. Oh. Now I can't open this. Look at that. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to come back to this one. We're going to go to this one. Fizzy drink here. So this is black currant. Do currant. Not like black currant. I know. And I thought always with black currant, you kind of dilute it with water because it's so strong, right? So I'm not sure. This one's going to be. A seriously mixed up blend of grapes, raspberry, black currant. Yep. Don't take offense. I don't like any type of berries, but grapes. I'm not even sure if grapes even count as a berry. But like strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. Do not like. And she definitely does not like. And black if it's black currant, I know it's a berry. So I just, I just don't like berries. It's another one that smells, smells like cough medicine. It just smells like cough medicine. My son, I know I've told you on other videos, he, he loves, loves it. Loves it. But usually we mix his like with water. Yeah, just this much with that much water. So it's not that bad. Oh, that's disgusting. It's mm. one of the mm. better black currants than what I have tasted. It actually is. And maybe because it's diluted a little more. I don't like the black currant though either. I'm with her on the black currant flavor. I know it's a big flavor here in the UK, but I'm just not a fan. I just don't like berries, so. I love berries. I can't get by it. I just maybe because I wasn't raised on black currant. I don't know. But everything of ours that would be black currant is grape. Oh yeah. In America, so our big flavor is grape everything. So here I've noticed through the starburst and the juice and everything is black, black currant. currant. Mm. And I think I choose the grape flavor, but again, that's because that's not that bad. What my taste buds are used to. I've been surprised with all these so far. Have you? They're not like I thought we were gonna have one disgusting one. So far, we haven't had one that's not tolerated. Uh, the first one. The iron, uh, the iron Brew, I was not a fan at all of. Wasn't a fan, but it wasn't like, oh, disgusting or anything. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good now. You see that? Yeah. Why is that happening? This cannot you can taste ginger. be healthy. I like ginger. Oh, I love ginger. But I like ginger in my food. Like if I'm cooking or something, I take ginger and actually just. I like ginger it like up. as a like a smoothie. Yeah, that's all but fresh ginger. This, this is ginger. I'm not bottle. sure. I don't like ginger ale though. That's disgusting. Yeah, I do smell the ginger. You're right. Yeah. It's really strong. It's really strong. Yep. Oh, that just actually burned my eyes. <laughs> Why well, put my face up there? This is so far. That's been. This has been the worst one. That was nasty. Yep. Ooh. Uh, mm -mm. Who can drink that? Ugh, that's not good at all. Is there a healthy component? I mean, that's about the only way I could put this down for some reason. Pretty sure it said it was a soda, so there's nothing help. Yeah, with sugar and sweetener. Mm -mm. Nope. Worst one. Worst one. Yeah, ooh. Paid a pound five for that. I did. To, to not like that. that that's disgusting. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, so what was your least favorite? Ginger beer. 100%. This. Yeah. yeah. 100% this was. Ugh, yep. Yuck. This probably was. This. That or the beer could have been The actual favorite. beer. Yeah. One of these two. They're, the so toast, they're so close on taste. It's kind of hard to tell which one you like more. I know. This one just surprised me because I thought yeah. as soon as I seen that this was actual beer, I thought, oh, this is going to be disgusting and there's no way I'm going to be able to drink that. But it actually wasn't bad. And this. What I thought of more like a grandma or grandpa drink actually wasn't that, that bad. bad. I know. I 
could sip on this in my 80s out on the front porch and not have a problem. Yeah, not too bad. I wish um, I didn't actually have this sitting in the fridge. I wish this would have been cold and I would have got to taste it that oh, way. Oh, yeah. I do like cold sodas a little bit better, so. But anyway, so still not bad. This, mm-mm, no. To hear everyone want me to try this, this tastes like cough syrup. 100% cough syrup, antibiotics, something mixed together. I don't know, but... I am not the biggest fan of that. So, yeah. Yeah, and the Venmo, the Ventimo is yeah. okay, too. Yeah, yeah you, you actually went through the black currant, okay. No, no, because it didn't, it wasn't, like, as strong as, like, you buy at a restaurant. The ones at the restaurant, mm -hmm. I cannot drink. Something about it is just strong, but I guess because I had a bunch of sugar. I think the one in the restaurant, though, is they use, like, a full flavor for, like, mixing alcohol. And we just always ask for it. Can they just water it way down for, like, um, Christian and stuff to drink? So I think that's why you think, oh, it's too strong. But that actually wasn't too bad. Yeah. Or maybe it's just because it was in a can. Made it a little bit better. But anyways, guys, um, this is a pretty short video. I know I just had these few drinks, and I'd seen them, and they looked really odd to me. It's something I definitely would not see in America. Definitely could not buy beer beside of the Coke or the Mountain Dew or... Yeah, and the canned products like that in America. So, that was really confusing that I got it and it was a true beer. But anyways, they're all not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that was this video. Um, <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's the beer kid did. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell she's tipsy. Oh, you can tell I don't drink a lot. What? Like, I can't stop laughing <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Definitely stay tuned to see what we'll do next. Um, I love trying new foods out. And obviously, I like randomly laughing after I drink this much beer. But see you in the next one. you don't need beer. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs>